Hello and welcome back to the Sassandra Show. Okay, listen y'all, really? Like something really big happened last night. The Miss Supranational Haiti pageant just crowned a new winner and she is here with us today. So y'all please help me welcome the winner of Miss Supranational Haiti, Miss Merle Flerisa. You know I have to say sac passe. Not boule. I appreciate it. How are you <laughs> of course, today? I am wonderful. Thank you. How about you? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm just getting over all of the excitement of being crowned. When, I still feel it. Oh my goodness. I'm feeling it for you right now. Yes. You just got crowned last night. Last night. The energy is still flowing off of you. Congratulations. <laughs> Y'all give it up. Come on. This is major. Thank that you. is major. That is major. So could you please tell us what is the process of being in a pageant? Well, typically the process starts with registration. So for Miss Supernational Haiti, they have a registration process. You apply, mm -hmm. you're chosen, you go through various interviews, and if you make it to the top, then you take part in, in the pageant. And from there, a winner is chosen, and I was chosen last night. Okay, she was chosen <laughs> last night. So explain to us, what is Supernational? Supranational is larger than just one nation. Mm. Supranational brings together women from over 60 different countries, who are representing their country, but mm -hmm. they have to be able to impact the world. Mm -hmm. They have to be able to impact more than one nation. And so it is supranational. A winner of Miss Supernational is not just one nation, but she is able to extend her impact across the globe. That's amazing. So are there any stereotypes or like behind the scene secrets you can share with us when it mm -hmm. comes down to these kind of pageants? I mean, I know you have to have a platform and it's yes. about being impactful, yes. but we know that there are always some kind of stereotypes. Have, did you have to face any? Absolutely. I think people assume that pageant women are not intelligent. Why would they think that? Unfortunately, I think women in general, when they present themselves well, when they're polished, when they take a lot of time to improve their appearance, mm -hmm. people think they're not also devoting that time to their education or to helping their communities and, the, and their societies. But every pageant girl, particularly in Miss Supernational mm -hmm. Haiti, they were educated women, college educated women. Mm -hmm. They had a platform, a nonprofit that they worked with or a nonprofit that they started on their own because they were looking to impact their community and they were looking to make Haiti a better place. I love it. It's, so it's all about black, looks. beautiful, and brilliant. Yes. That's what I say all the time. And you can tell when you sit here, you talk to us, we do need to make sure that we are presentable, Absolutely. but baby, the brains are working. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? Yes. The brains are working. <laughs> so did you do the ugly cry when you won last Absolutely night? Not. <laughs> Absolutely not. You didn't ruin your mascara? Never, 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 never. I had to keep it cute but I definitely <laughs> felt the emotion and the tears were running down, for oh sure. Oh my goodness, that's so amazing. <laughs> so you're traveling to Poland in the summer to compete again. What is that competition? You like, you are ready for it. Look at the lips, y'all. She's like, mm -hmm, they better watch out. I am on my way. So tell us about this competition. Well, yes, it is held in, in the summertime. And like I said, multiple nations are present mm -hmm. representing their countries and they are working to become and to prove to the Miss Supernational Organization that they are aspirational and inspirational women. Mm. That is the slogan. And so that is the process. We get to promote our country's values. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to promote the beauty of Haiti. I was going to say, what is your platform? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, my platform is mostly on education mm -hmm. because I truly believe that young people are the base of society. Yes. And they are the individuals who will create change for the future. Yes. And when, we, when it comes to Haiti, we get a lot of negative press. But as an ambassador for Haiti through Miss Supernational, I am working to change that narrative because Haiti is a beautiful country. It's full of beautiful people who are intelligent and who have contributed to the world around them. Well, we agree with you 100%. <laughs> Did we tell you that Luke is from Haiti right here? Oh, wow. Luke is from Haiti. Lucas. Yes. Okay. I say Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you are. Your accent is so beautiful. <laughs> Listen, so I hear a lot of things about modeling, especially for little girls as well. In your opinion, what is a good age to begin pageantry? And what age did you start? I started late in my career, but if I were to suggest to anyone, I think 
when you get the urge to compete is when you should start. I love that. That's a great yes. answer. So Don't put a number source, on it and make people feel obligated. Exactly. Just feel purpose driven. Exactly. It's beautiful. Well, thank you so much again for joining us. Mm -hmm. It has been such a pleasure to have you here.